on our YouTube. Back again, Chop Toys. This is a truck I bought, oh lord, maybe five years ago. Found it at an antique store in almost downtown Dallas. Uh, an off uh, area I get to go to very often. Um, good lord, that was a long time ago. Uh, <laughs> it's probably been five years. But anyway, um, I think I paid like 25 bucks for it. And that was a pretty good deal. It's complete. And it's just a mess, but it's not a complete mess. So what it is, is a 58, I believe 58 or 59, uh, the Marine Service tractor. These had a trailer. It had four or five plastic boats on it. And it had a bar across the back. And it had the four or five plastic engines to go with the boats. Now this one is only missing one part. And that is the fifth wheel uh, hitch itself. I think I've got some, but I know it's not going to be the right color. I'm probably not going to put one on yet. But we're just going to do a little cleanup on this. Um, I have one replacement windshield left from my stash. Obviously, we need a new windshield on this, but the truck overall is in excellent shape. So let's get started. So you can see looking underneath, this was the lighter blue color. These came in two, two shades of blue, it seemed like. Uh, I'm not sure if they were year specific or not. But overall, the truck is very straight. The saddle tanks are on and, and great. Chassis has no bends. The front bumper and stuff is perfect. So, not going to do any have to do any body work on it. But we do need to pop that windshield out. And I, for that, I'm going to use my long angled needle nose pliers. Let's see if we can get down in there. I'm trying to remember which direction to go at it from. All I do is give it a little twist and try to pull it. It's easier without the glass in it <laughs> when you have one that's missing the glass. I'm going to put down something. I know it don't look like much, but I don't want to scratch it any more than it already is. So I had them bent just a little bit. We'll have to see if it's enough. Now these, you don't have to take it all the way off to remove the windshield. It'll pop up and there's a secondary, it's like a hood latch. There's a secondary catch. But getting it there is the hard part. I may go ahead and break some of this window out just so I can get my hands on it. I don't have to stab myself. Whoa, went flying. Nothing left of that one. Sometimes if I have one that's just hazy or scratched a little bit, I'll, I'll keep them. And if I get desperate enough, I can polish them out. So, uh, let's see if we can push these back now. Alright, so I've been fighting with this. I got one side. This one's got a little bit of rust around there, and I think that's what's holding me up because it is a very snug fit. But you can see on this side how that lip is, and that lip that's rusty is twisted one way or the other. And that's what keeps it from coming back out. But that's as far up as we need it to get a windshield in. Um, almost got the other side. So you kind of have to push back and up while twisting from the bottom. So it's, it's not easy. Now there's a hole right here on the bottom of that A-pillar. And I thought this would help a little bit get in there and twist it. But it's really not giving me the movement I need. So... This side's almost out. It's just hanging up on the rust. I've got it bent back. And it's real easy. Once you get the windshield back in, I'll show you. Um, it'll pretty much snap into place. It'll be a little loose. And then you just reach in there with some needle nose and give it a little twist. Push those tabs back to the outside. Boom. Windshield's locked in and secured. Alright, it popped. I heard it. Aha! We <laughs> made it, finally. Alright, so... It hinges in the back and just locks in. And uh, this will help help us when we clean it too. So I'm going to take this. Uh, do I want to pull the grill off? I want to pull the grill off, but I don't want to pull the grill off. See how, how well those headlights are up in there. Can't push it with my finger. Looks like all the corrosion on the grill is on this one side where the, the hood's pretty eat up. So I don't know, let me, yeah, the stubs in there look pretty good. Let's give it a whack and pop the, pop the grill off. We can work on that while the cab's drying. Um, I'll use these. Just something to get behind there and give it a little push. That one popped right out. It's one difference too with the earlier trucks. The frame dips down here 
on the uh, 60, 61, I believe. It may just be 61, I don't know. It goes all flush across the front, which helps reinforce the front of the body, but makes getting those inner two headlights out a little more difficult. Not a huge deal, but every little thing helps here when you're trying to take these things apart without breaking them. Normally what you would do, if it was going to do a restoration, I'd drill the rivets out, take the bumper, take the cab completely off the body. Then you have full access to the back of the headlights and you can pop them right out. But this truck's too good, it's too straight. The front end and stuff on it's perfect, so we're not going to we're not going to do that. We're just going to clean it up and see what kind of finish we get. That should be Oop. All right, one side out. It'd be easier with a flat blade screwdriver, but all of mine are outside at the moment in my car. Working on real car stuff. Can't see that one. Now well, we can probably just pop that off from the outside. The other two stayed on there. They're so chewed up and corroded. They are out of the body. There we go. And all our tabs are still intact. So depending on how well the grill cleans up, we may run the original headlights. I want to shoot back here. There we go. Two on the driver's side are pretty good. The passenger side ones are not bad. They got a little bit of something on them. So now I'm going to take this to the bathroom and soak it, spray it down with scrubbing bubbles, hose it off with warm water, real good inside and out, and uh, we'll see see what. All right, while well, the truck's drying, I'm going to see if we can work a little magic on this grill, knock some of this rust off. I'm not trying to do anything too amazing out of it because the truck is still pretty rusty, but we'll see what we can make happen here. Probably should have taken it down with like a scotch bright or something first, but I'm really not trying to polish it. I'm just trying to shine it up a little bit. The rust is probably going to stay, but oh well. I think that would probably be what I would do if I was trying to make it mint, because it is perfectly straight. It's an excellent grill. It's just the uh, rust on it sucks. I'd take some scotch bright, work the rust off, and then you'd have to build it back up. You'd really to do go that far with it, you really need different grits of polish, which I don't actually have right now. And work your way through that. Hoping this is gritty enough to do something to it. Alright, so I forgot I had some uh, double lot steel wool. It kind of helped. It's still stained in the uh, into the metal, so I'm afraid it would take a lot more work than I'm willing to put in, and it's not going to match the truck anyway. So we'll just leave it like it is. Shined up pretty good. So I think it'll it'll fit pretty good. We're going to have to give the bumper a little love too, so it doesn't doesn't look too bad. But uh, yeah. I think it's going to be alright. It'll be good enough for what it is. We're a long way from having a trailer for that truck anyway. I've got all my stuff strung out. Three different rooms of the house. So I, can, I didn't have a uh, hitch for it. A receiver hitch for it that I could find right now. So we're just going to leave that off there like we thought. Alright, so the truck came out a little bit better. These tires and wheels on this thing are almost perfect. They have no wear on them. They still have the rib in the center. It sticks up above the actual lugs on the tread. Just super, super tight. Nice hubcaps. Really, really nice truck. So, uh, let me grab the towel again. I'm going to hit the bumper with a little bit of, uh, well, I guess I'll hit it with the steel wool too, too so it'll be the same. I'm not going to go super crazy on it because I don't want to mess up the paint any, but we'll see what will happen. All right, came out pretty good. Not quite as shiny as the grill, but I did also just lightly polish the headlights just by hand, just for a few seconds. Not anything amazing, and they did clean up quite a bit. Um, trying to find the bad ones, I can't even tell now. They all are pretty equal, so pretty sure that one's a bad one. We'll throw it on the side it came off of. 
rest of them all uh, look about the same. I wish really I had a slightly used windshield for this. The new window is going to really stand out. It looks good. I like that. You get the continuity of the rust coming down the grill and the bumper. But it's still shiny and it looks, looks 100 times better than it did. So let's move on to the window. This is going to be a pretty simple process. We'll get our back piece in, our front one started. There we go. Have a new window here. Again, I think I picked this up off of eBay. I'd buy them in bulk. <clears throat> They're just basic. It's got the little tabs in the bottom that set in these holes on the cab. And your upper piece sits in this raised roof lip that they have. So we may have to modify it a little bit. Let's get it out of there before we break it. So we got some good little scratches there on the corner. I'm having a problem fitting in here. This is off just a hair. So I'm going to take the Dremel. Give that a little trim. All right, so I just slightly narrowed both the tabs on the bottom. See if that will help our situation here. That way it can spread. Oh, it can spread out. Problem was they were fitting in perfectly, but it was bowed out in the center because of the sides. So maybe now it'll sit flush. If I can hold it in place. Get these in. There we go. All right, so that side is good. That side is pretty good, not as good. So now we're gonna flip it over and those little tabs, I'm gonna bend them back the way they need to go. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I'd probably rate that truck a six, just because all the rust. Body condition, as far as dents and damage, it's thing near a 10. But uh, other than the finish on it, just a little rusty. Had something spilt on that hood and it ran down the grill, ate through the metal, but it's a good fitting truck and those headlights really cleaned up and I, I barely put any effort in those. But uh, this will be a good good truck for the future. I'm not gonna, not gonna paint it or anything. It'd probably be a good candidate for that, but I don't know. I just don't like doing full restorations anymore. I like to do repairs and full customs. I like the original stuff. I've really grown to love the patina, and uh, I always loved rusty old cars, so it just fits that I like rusty old toys. That really cleaned up pretty good, and like I said, the continuity of the rust mark's still there, so you know it's the original piece. <laughs> it's not replaced with anything. It all goes together as a set, and uh, just a solid truck. It rolls so dang well, but um, yeah, I've only shown you the bad side this whole time. I haven't really shown you the good side. Got a little bit of wobble to it. That always happened with these tractors, with the fifth wheels. There's no support on the back, so the frames get tweaked a little bit. But it's not hard to fix. You can just take it and uh, give it a twist. So it's our front. Uh, it looks like our front's a little high. We can. Yeah, it's just. There we go. <laughs> that easy. It's great about working with metal. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching and sticking through, and hopefully I showed you something interesting. Maybe maybe taught you something you didn't know, or who knows. It's all about just having fun and keeping, keeping old toys alive and, yeah, having a good time. But I appreciate you watching. Be sure to check out the rest of the channel. And um, any questions or anything about the uh, scale shop here, check out my other channel, it's RC Every Day. And uh, you can see I just built this whole hot rod shop from scratch. It doesn't really fit the Tonka trucks, but it fits my other stuff for my RC cars, which are not like any RC cars you've ever seen. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for more to come, and I'll see you on the next one.